Hi everybody. To kick off 2024, the new year, I'm going to be doing a response thread to a thread started by, I believe, Rachel's Ghost. So if you haven't seen Rachel's Ghost video, check it out and uh, check out the Rachel's Ghost channel as well. She started a tag about uh, uh, Beatles items, mostly vinyl, uh, not necessarily all vinyl. And a few other people have already joined in this tag. This is open to everybody, so if you want to help out, you know, and you want to contribute, please make your own video. I've seen a, uh, that Matthew Street did a video. I've seen that the Canadian Stud Muffin did a video. And um, there may be others, too. I'm pretty sure there are. I just haven't seen who they are yet. So let's just uh, show you what I got. I'm going to try to go through this as quickly as possible. There are basically 10 um, ideas here. 10 questions or 10 uh, uh, participating ideas. Let's put it that way, for lack of a better way to phrase it. Number one, for example, uh, show the most copies of an album that you have in any combination of formats. Now, that when it comes to the Beatles, I mean, I have a lot of different albums in a lot of different formats, but I decided to go with the United States Capitol Help album. And the first one I'm showing here is, I guess this is the mono one, okay from 1965 and then as you go on we have uh, a stereo one here and you can see on the top there it says full uh new improved full dimensional stereo that cover all right that's number one number two is show a bootleg now i got tons of bootlegs which one to show uh which one can be interesting well i decided to go with this one from 1980 called broadcasts and this is one of the best bootlegs ever made in in terms of especially back in the day before the beatles at the bbc official releases came out this was one of the best records where you could get bbc recordings okay this really was a treat back in back in the day and i know this this is in a different variety of labels i mean there, there are green labels and there are black labels the one i have here is the black label the sound quality is really great on here and uh, a nice selection of songs i mean they could have they could have picked a lot of different tracks from the bbc recordings that the beatles did but uh, the ones here are really good. Uh, Lend Me Your Comb, Soldier of Love, Carol, Long Tall Sally, Clara Bella, Memphis, I Got a Woman, Do You Want to Know a Secret? Um, that's, I'm not reading every one, but a lot of them. Hippie Hippie Shake, Matchbox, I'm a Loser, She's a Woman, I Feel Fine, I'll Follow the Sun, Everybody's Trying to Be My Baby. It's a real good collection. Um, and uh, back in the day, this was like a real grail. This was like a real a gold mine to find this. Because you didn't get bootlegs back around the 70s or early 80s that sounded so crystal clear like this one. So that's a bootleg I wanted to show. All right, now, number three, the last album, Beatles-related album, I guess, that you bought. And I have to say, there hasn't been anything I bought since this, the combo, the newest the red album, 62 to 66, the blue album, 67 to 70, and... It's on colored vinyl. If you want to see the actual vinyl, see the colored vinyl, please uh, check out my videos. If you go back to November, just go back a couple of months, scroll back, you'll see a lot of stuff. Me showing this, talking about it, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, that's the most recent, I think, Beatles-related vinyl that I bought. All right, the next question is a solo LP from your favorite Beatle. Okay, well, my favorite Beatle is John Lennon. And I was thinking, again, well, what am I going to show for John? You know, well, let me open this up here a little bit. This is going to be a treat. I didn't want to show a regular, one of his regular studio catalog albums. I figured I'd look for something a little different. So I have this, which is very rare on vinyl, Lennon Legend. Uh, you can see special limited edition vinyl release. And this is the gatefold. Very nice gatefold. And let's look at in a sleeve. And let's see the record label. There you have it. 
Now, um, I didn't really check to see uh, what country this is from. Made in the USA. This is a USA album. <laughs> Should have checked that out first, right? All right. Now, the next question. How about a non-UK Beatles album? I'll show you a non-UK Beatles album. But before I do that, I am going to say that I made a mistake. And I'm not going to redo it. So let me go for the mistake. You remember question number one where it asked to show all the versions you have with different formats. And I showed you these two help albums. I forgot. <laughs> I went through a lot of trouble too. Here's a cassette tape of the U.S. Help album from 65 as well. I mean, I'm not, this is not a 1965 tape, but the, the Help album was 65. And then I also found this that I'd like to share with you. It's a reel-to-reel. Help, reel-to-reel. Nice. Original Beatles soundtrack. I'm sorry, folks, for the mistake. What can I say? Okay, this is really nice. This is a seven and a half IPS. And let's take the cover off this as well. The cover comes off, but I don't want to hurt anything. Because sometimes, as a lot of people will tell you, you can actually hurt your collection by showing people stuff online. And there you go. There's the tape. Reel-to-reel -reel tapes are supposed to be phenomenal in sound, really amazing clarity. Uh, I don't have a reel-to-reel -reel player. I Strictly for the collectability of this piece. So, I wanted to share that one with you. Okay, sorry about that mishap. All right, let us go now. We'll have to fine-tune this later because it's a little messy right now. All right, so where was I? Okay. Show a non-UK Beatles LP. Uh, I have a lot of those, a lot of non-UK Beatles LPs. I went for this German version, The Beatles, The World's Best. And it's got a nice selection of songs there. Nice uh, collection. You know, a lot of things that's fun is like, where do you see like uh, Good Day Sunshine opening up an album? Or inside two things we said today, opening up an album, a real a different, varied array of songs. Yellow Submarine uh, on side two with "If I Fell" and then "And Your Bird Can Sing." I mean, that's what's fun about collecting some foreign albums, um, you know, because you get all, all variations of track listings, which is different. All right, let's uh, put this on the bottom here and go to the next question. All right, the next one is show a Beatles single or an EP. I just grabbed this, no particular reason, just grabbed it. This is from France. I Need You and Dizzy Miss Lizzie. You know, weird combinations also, you know. We have a lot of weird ones on the French 45 collection, a lot of weird pairings. And that is the label on the Odeon label. Okay. All right. The next one, I did a little cheating, maybe. I don't know. You, you tell me. Uh, the next one, it says, a show a Beatles LP by another band. Well, I have all kinds of other bands, and but the, the one that was easiest to get to, because I can't get to everything, the first one I was able to get to was this. This is This counts, right? You tell me. Maybe not. The Johnny Mann Singers. I don't know. Does that does that count as a band? Uh, well, that's what you're getting. <laughs> and you can see the songs that are performed on there, the Beatle ballads. And I like it. got Ringo's theme, This Boy, on there. So that's, that's the best I could do right now, folks. I have Smithereens. There's a Beatles album I have, and there's some other things. But they were kind of packed in the corner, and I really couldn't get at them. Sorry. All right, and this is also kind of, uh, I'll be honest with you. Um, oh, no, not yet, not yet. Uh, hmm. I think I'm missing one. Number eight. 
a Beatle guest starring on another LP, not a non-Beatles LP. Again, yeah, this is another lazy move because this was this was handy. This was recent. I went with the recent Rolling Stones, Hackney Diamonds. Paul McCartney is on here. He plays a fuzz bass on Bite My Head Off, which is really a great song. And it's not my favorite song on the album, but I love this whole album. A lot of you know I did a video on this if you want to check it out. I think this is a phenomenal. I use that word a lot here. Amazing sound, sounding album. Everything here, the production is, is fantastic by Andrew Watt. And the songs are all great. It's a consistent album by the Rolling Stones all the way through. And Paul McCartney, guest stars, playing a bass on it. So that fits that question. That was an easy one instead of diving into other stuff. Uh, now let's see. Okay, let's uh, show anything that's a non-record. So now we're going to show something that's not a vinyl item. And of all the things in this room, I decided to show this. This is really cool. This is a kind of a hanging cube. This is this has like a, the ability for you to punch out a couple of holes there. Uh, or if you can see there, and you can actually put a run a string through that these holes, and like dangle it, hang it from the ceiling. It's like a mobile, a mobile, mobile, and they have one of the Beatles on the around the Let It Be time, get back. They have all the Beatles there. Well, that that's not necessarily, but uh, that, that's not necessarily either. I take it back. <laughs> that's more Abbey Road and George. But anyway, this is a. Uh, cardboard cube and it's from uh, the official Beatles fan club okay and there's you can see on the bottom this is the bottom of it right there it tells you all the information you need to know there so this is a cool item that I like and the last thing I'm going to do here is number 10 favorite Giles Martin remix now uh, as I've said many times before uh, I don't love everything giles martin does uh, i have a, a hit and miss mentality with him uh my appreciation for his stuff is really hot and cold i don't like some of what he's done and some of it i do like uh, i would say out of the regular regular beatles catalog studio albums that he's done probably sergeant pepper was maybe in my opinion my favorite but I, actually, my real favorite, and I know this is a little repetition because I showed something earlier like this. This is my favorite thing Giles Martin has done so far. It's the brand new 1962 to 1966 Red Album uh, remix. The D-mix, then the remix. This is my favorite thing that he's done so far. Out of all the Beatles items, this has the most tracks on it that I find improved and uh, enhanced. And this is a CD version, of course. I really recommend this to people, you know, because a lot of the songs, you'll, you'll hear them be better sounding than ever before. And again, if you want to check out a lot more on the Red and the Blue, the new ones, uh, check out all the videos I did in the month of November, because I, 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 and maybe even a little December, right? I think mostly November, you'll find a lot of stuff there. And that's my favorite Giles Martin work, as far as his remixes go right here so i thank you everybody i thank you rachel's ghost uh check check out her channel and uh everybody else that's participated thanks for making videos and if you want to jump off this and make a video too a, a vinyl tag or whatever they're calling it the beatles 2024 vinyl tag or the beatles 2024 tag period whatever it is have fun with it